Hey guys, so while reading some articles, I came across this paper written in recent years about the effects of temperature on cherry shrimp. Although these were written for purposes unrelated to aquarium keeping, I have still learned and applied a lot of it. Welcome to the world of aquariums, and if you want to increase your success in shrimp breeding, stay tuned to find out. Although it doesn't seem like much, small differences in temperatures play a huge role in breeding shrimp as they affect factors like reproduction success rate, incubation time for their eggs, the number of eggs, the growth rate and success of shrimp, and even the sex ratio of shrimplets. To begin with, we will first be looking into the range of temperatures which cherry shrimp and crystals will breed in successfully. The easiest way to understand this is to divide it into three zones, the blue zone, the green zone, and the red zone. The blue zone consists of temperatures under 18 degrees Celsius, and although it's possible to raise cherries in temperatures of 15 degrees Celsius, reproduction will ultimately cease and females will not have eggs. So basically, don't keep your shrimp in this zone. The red zone consists of temperatures of 32 degrees Celsius and over for cherry shrimp and 29 degrees Celsius and over for crystal shrimp, as cherries are more hardier compared to crystals. In this zone, the temperature could start killing adults, but any eggs or shrimplets will have an extremely high mortality rate, so don't keep it in this zone also. The green zone consists of temperatures of 18 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius for cherries, and 18 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius for crystal shrimp, and this is the zone that they will breed successfully in. However, this is still a large temperature range, so let me explain what will happen to the other factors as temperatures change by just a couple of degrees. For the incubation period of the eggs, increasing the temperature will shorten the number of days it takes to hatch by quite a significant amount. A study I read published by Japanese site Crystal World showed that the formula for the number of days eggs takes to hatch is 63 days minus 1.6 times the temperature of water in degrees Celsius. Although this formula was based off crystal shrimp, the general idea is still colder waters will result in longer egg incubation time, and warmer waters will result in a faster egg incubation time. For the next factor, there is a significant relation between the number of eggs and the temperature of the water. Females that were settled and had eggs in colder water of around 20 degrees will have significantly less eggs compared to shrimp that had it in warmer waters of 23 degrees Celsius and 26 degrees. However, if you keep increasing the temperature, it won't just mean your shrimp will have more and more eggs, as it will reach a maximum amount of around 35, and it will cause a negative effect on the other factors. Next up, we have the growth rate and success rate of shrimplets due to temperature. Like most aquatic animals, increasing the temperature will lead to shrimplets having a faster growth rate. However, there are other side effects. Negative effects of this is that shrimplets will have an increased mortality rate, as their bodies absorb less proteins in higher temperatures, making it harder to grow initially. Additionally, shrimp raised in warmer waters will have a smaller body size compared to those raised in colder waters, but this is mostly due to the next factor. The last factor, the sex ratio of shrimplets at different temperatures, is the main reason why keeping your aquariums at the maximum temperature for breeding is not recommended if you want to have more shrimp. At lower temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius, the ratio of males to females of the hatched shrimplets will be around 80% females to 20% males. However, if you increase the temperature to 23 degrees Celsius, this then becomes a 1 to 1 ratio, and at a higher temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, the sex ratio becomes 20% females and 80% males. So ultimately, if you want to increase the number of shrimp, you can't just have high temperatures for faster growth rate, as most of the shrimp in the next generation will not be females. Now that I have explained all the effects of temperature in shrimp breeding, we can find the optimum temperature. Comparing all these graphs of the factors affected by temperature, we can now say that the optimum temperature for breeding shrimp 
will be around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius. Anyway, this concludes our video for our advanced shrimp breeding guide on the effects of temperature. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you also want me to do a video on any aquarium topic, please comment below and thanks for watching.